but he doesn't want to budge in open relating, but will consider polygamy. <laughs> but I will not agree to that. So this is this is an ongoing issue. So so let's break that out. Then we'll close it out. So because why? Because your husband has boundaries. He set up boundaries because on the other side of that boundary is if you suck another man's penis. I'm going to be hurt and angered and stressed the fuck out. So this is a big thing in monogamy. So because I have because I have that trigger and I'm scared of that pain, I'm going to set a rule up. And the rule says no polyamory, no open relating, just polygyny. Now here's what happens. Check this out. And Yahweh can appreciate this because he's from, you know, you've been around the conscious community and all that kind of stuff. So what people do, they have their, they have their triggers. So they set the boundary up, right? Then they say, then they go get evidence and science to support their rule to protect that boundary. So that's when the guys will come back and say, well, look, the natural order of things is the man should have multiple women and the woman should be okay being a part of a harem of co-wives because that's how we did it in Africa. There's proof, dear. Say, Tiffany, here's the proof. When you study the history of Africa, what you see is polygyny, one man, many women. But I'll give this to you, Tiffany. I'll give this. The women choose the additional wives. I'll give you that. But there's no examples of women having multiple husbands or multiple lovers outside of that monogamous or polygynous structure. See what people do? And we all do this as human beings. We all do it. We all say, let me find the evidence to support my, my avoiding my triggers. That's, that's, that's men's number one thing. All the men are saying, the reason why I'm not going to be open or polyamorous is because I found science and evidence to prove that women are not supposed to be sexually promiscuous. But no, you're just making that up. I, I, let's say every single person in the world to, to, to date has been either monogamous or polygynous. Every single person from the, in the history of the world has been monogamous or polygynous. It doesn't mean you have to be. It doesn't. That's like saying if slavery has always existed in the world and let's say that, that Asian people have always been slaves from day one all the way to today, every single Asian person born on the planet has been a slave. That, that because of that fact, that means that every single Asian person going forward has to be a slave? No, that's what open relating says. Open says, look, I don't, if I don't want to be a slave, then I don't have to be a slave. I don't care what the evidence says. I don't care what your morality says. I don't care what the right thing to do is. I don't care what the tradition is. And, 